Hello, everybody. Carlton Pearson, your, your fellow sojourner in truth and of truth and about truth and expanded consciousness and radical inclusion and growth, expansion, imagination, creation, co-creation, procreation, recreation. Thanks for being my friend. I, I mean that at a level that I never have said it to you before. During this period, the last several weeks that I've been experiencing this special treatment, um, you showed a side of you, uh, just in your, uh, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. I read as many as I can and I'll continue to. They're just so heartwarming and you make me value my life more and my participation in life with you and that we're engaging together continually. Uh, Madge has been posting some things to make you aware of a lot of this and we'll continue to do that. Next Tuesday, Dr. Michael Beckwith will be my guest and others will come on from time to time and I'll be back when I can. In the meantime, I'll be doing things like this to talk about we must all live, we must all die, we must all live until we die. And then we'll live again. 20 years I've been dealing with cancer and survived it. I'm a 20 year survivor, almost 21 years of cancer. And so this is another reoccurrence and a reappearance and I'm just as cool about it now as I ever was or as I was before. We're in this together, we're believing for the best but again, thank you for being who you are. And thank you for listening to these brief words. I love you so, so much. We'll stay in touch. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Bishop Carlton D. Pearson, a preacher, singer and author who moved from Pentecostalism to what he called the gospel of inclusion, has died at the age of 70. Pearson died in hospice care Sunday night, November the 19th, after a brief battle with a returning cancer, according to a post on his social media page. Raised and later ordained in the Church of God in Christ, a predominantly black denomination and the one-time leader of a prominent Oklahoma megachurch, Pearson began facing health issues more than two decades ago, but suffered a recurrence of cancer in recent months. His family had announced in an October 30th post on his social media page that he was receiving comfort care, which is essentially palliative end-of-life care. Our condolences goes out to his family and his loved ones, as well as his congregation and his followers. He was very um, controversial in many ways, but at the same time, he did have a huge following and you know he did have people that believed in what the message that he was trying to convey so may he so rest in peace